Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for June. All right, darling, June 2022, honey. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Scorpio, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Join the family, darling. It's completely for free to support me. And let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you. All right, I would appreciate it, Scorpio. Um, as well, darling, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Scorpio, because that's how you make these general tarot readings really resonate with you darling is by getting the full scope of your energy from your chart not just from your sun sign darling all right so uh let's just jump right into this tarot reading here for you scorpio what's it what is it darlings that y'all are currently dealing with honey what is the tea honey all right let's get into this here page of coins nine of coins as well as the five of swords coming in here all right here scorpio we're gonna have to give you some tough love darling and i'm gonna leave scorpio cusp so i already know how to speak to y'all honey all right i think i was a little bit rough on you last week as well let's get into this here all right y'all are feeling a little y'all are not seeing yourself in your true power here scorpio all right you guys have such strong potential to manifest things and bring things into the physical here all right you have these personal desires that you want to cre uh, manifest here, but you're not putting in the work in terms of like ritual, uh, energetically wise. You, I feel like some of you guys need to start putting uh, putting more energy into doing ritual work. Some of you guys are downplaying your spiritual abilities, which y'all need to just stop. All right, I could go into a whole video ranting to y'all about that, Scorpio. In my opinion, the most spiritual water sign is the Scorpio. All right, because y'all are like the reason why so many people are intimidated by Scorpios is because Scorpios have this like, like this power, this like unspoken power, this unspoken uh, uh, ability that you have because it's like you see through the veil. All right, I don't know why. I mean, that's a personal thing. Maybe it's biased because I'm a cuspy, honey, and I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart, but it's like Scorpios just they see through so much they cut through the bs in the physical but they also just they are the most mystical sign to me in the water signs here and you guys are not giving yourself enough credit here scorpio all right i see for so many of you guys you guys it's like you fell off that bike um and then forever afterwards you have like this not a good opinion of yourself here all right i feel like some of you guys here scorpio are on this path already let me give y'all some credit here honey i feel like y'all are on the path towards um feeling better about yourself and how i feel like you guys are gonna just you know kind of have this like light bulb moment and you're just like oh wait a minute i'm actually i'm actually that one i'm not gonna cuss here honey all right but i am you realize that you are that that b word honey okay if you don't know what the b word is darling then you are not my age demographic <laughs> all right <laughs> and so yeah scorpio it's like y'all need to be about yourself more y'all need to celebrate yourself more and i know here scorpio that a lot of people probably are not going to agree with me here but y'all need to get y'all need to um especially this is a big coming from me here because i'm the biggest uh person that always goes after my own personal ego all right but y'all need to stroke your ego a little bit more scorpio all right um what's going on here why aren't y'all in your e like <laughs> like y'all just need to come from a more empowered place here darling all right stroke your own ego celebrate yourself darling okay you have coming in here the ace of cups as well as the seven of pentacles coming in here and then you have the ace of swords coming in as well pretty powerful here so here's the thing it's like you have this beautiful idea i'm gonna just you know seven of pentacles that's that nice like it's really referred to as like you know dealings with like growing something right and so it's like y'all are scorpio it's like you all are sitting at the front door all right of a really beautiful opportunity all right but you have to be the one to go forward with it it's like you have this beautiful idea of creating this garden for yourself building this empire for yourself here but then you can it's like you get frozen at the door you get that stage fright all right we need to be addressing that scorpio all right because this is not good you are i see honestly here you guys are directly holding yourselves back from so much of your greatness here all right and so while i know in the spiritual community Community, darling and i'm guilty of it as well darling so please don't take it as if i'm like i'm the different one but it's just like there's so much conversation about always addressing your ego and having that healthy conversation with your ego and like do you know doing away at it and i still believe in that but there is also a time and place to also acknowledge that you are 100 percent that bitch all right i'm gonna just say i'm a cuss now so y'all understand scorpio that i'm being serious here truly um y'all like i truly just see scorpio where it's just like once you finally acknowledge that 
and have that beautiful opinion of yourself like nothing can stop you truly the world becomes your oyster again it's just like once you finally acknowledge your spiritual power because again like even i don't care what it is that you're trying to manifest i don't care what it is that you're trying to create in this world your spiritual gifts are going to be the direct correlation behind how you get the success in your life here all right and so i don't care what your spiritual practice is all right what you per, uh, what you spiritually practice is none of my freaking business darling all right but tap into that more celebrate yourself more give yourself more credit when it comes to your spiritual gifts all right if you do tarot readings celebrate yourself for doing those tarot readings and be like you know what there's not a single other tarot reader that is like me darling all right y'all need to feed more goodness into your soul more goodness into yourself here all right so you have more confidence just with yourself but also like that's where that's where mastering your ego is really really comes into play is where you challenge your ego and realizing that no one's different no one is better than or lesser than you but you also are in your own personal power you know that's what that's how that separates someone that is really confident with themselves and being cocky right that's the difference where it's just like you're not cocky but you're confident in what it is that you create and what it is that you do that doesn't mean anything lesser than from anybody else scorpio and if someone tries to bring shame to you in that where it's just like oh scorpio you're full of yourself you're full of yourself you know what you need to respond with that with you'd be like yes i actually am darling i'm full of myself and i'm going to continue on being full of myself darling all right because only people that are going to be threatened by you being full of yourself scorpio unless you are being a, <laughs> a douche about it unless you're being douchey about it scorpio like it shouldn't impact them the only people that are going to be feeling some type of way about you celebrating yourself is by people that are insecure with themselves and be like oh wait a minute you know making them like realize like how insecure they are all right just because i can uh, acknowledge how um good looking i am that doesn't mean i'm saying anyone else around me is not attractive darling all right so like when you think about it in that way putting it in that perspective like you realize like how silly it can be like how silly that whole conversation is all right i hope that makes sense for some of you scorpios because i feel like some of y'all just need that pep talk to be honest here all right so let's continue expounding on this <clears throat> You have here the King of Cups, or yeah, King of Cups, King of Wands, as well as the Strength Energy coming in here. Ooh. Now, Scorpio, this gives me the sense of y'all have some competition. All right. Y'all have some competition here. It's like, let me put it in this dynamic here. I always like to use analogies. And for, uh, for argument's sake, we'll just use like for something like me. So it's more relatable to you. All right. But uh, like, let's just say that you decide to do tarot. All right. You decide to do tarot. You create your own channel, honey. You start doing your weekly readings, darling. All right. You're new up on the scene, darling. And then as you post content, like you start triggering people who are well off in their path already. Right. So let's just use the analogy. Like you have like five subscribers on your YouTube channel, all right? And you start doing tarot readings. It'd be as if, if like I see you posting your content and then me being like trying to punch down and be like, ooh, Scorpio, like what you doing trying to do tarot readings, darling? Like you're a waste of time. You're just cop, like whatever, whatever, whatever. Me going after you, all right? I can't even take myself serious because it's like, I can't relate to it for myself because that just is not me. But it's like, it's in that narrative. So it's like, you put it in perspective. It's just like, wait a minute. You know, this channel over here who has thousands of subscribers is feeling threatened by little old me having five and I'm doing content. Why is that? You know, you're just like, hmm. So I feel like y'all need to just put it in this perspective here, Scorpio, where it's just like there's going to be reality is you're going to be threatening people. All right. The, the moment you start claiming your rightful throne, it's like the countries around you are just like get shaken by that. And that's how you start realizing like how powerful you actually personally are, Scorpio. All right. And if you were if you weren't capable of anything if you weren't if you weren't that one darling all right these people would not be paying you no mind if i wasn't threat again i just need to just say, i know y'all understand this scorpio but i just need to clarify this that this is not me on a personal level like y'all are my regulars already know i'm always gassing up people i'm always celebrating other tarot readers and i'm always like i tell people all the time it's like everyone should have a youtube channel everyone should have like i feel like everyone's shit so let me just clarify that before someone new on the channel gets it twisted that 
that I feel threatened. Like, girl, I don't like it's the very opposite. All right. Um, but it's like, like, it does, you realize like how how capable you are based off of how other people are reacting to you when there's no reason for them to be reacting in this way logically. So be prepared for that. Some of y'all might have already started dealing with that here, Scorpio, is what I get as well. So let's continue on here. You have the Queen of Swords, the Star Energy, the Emperor Energy, as well as the Two of Pentacles. Now, I do see some of you Scorpios. I'm not going to lie here. All right. Let's continue on with that analogy. You start feel like you start gathering that attention, triggering people around you that are already well off in their field and they try to make you insecure. Do not engage with it, Scorpio. All right. Do not acknowledge it here. Don't even like justify um me with a response if i go after you all right so that's the thing i get a little bit anxious about with you scorpio is that you being a little bit too confrontational about the naysayers all right don't be there's no reason to confront the naysayers darling right what is that one quote where it's just like the lion does not care for the opinions of the sheep all right put it in that perspective because that's really what the case is here for you, Scorpio, all right? It's just like, don't entertain this energy here because what they're trying to accomplish is to keep you distracted or get to get well enough in your head, Scorpio, that you stop creating as much or whatever the case is, whatever your storyline is, Scorpio. And so that's why you do not want to be engaging with it, all right? Focus in on your craft. Focus in on just continuously feeding yourself positivity, you know, really focus in on uh, building up your confidence more and more. And again, you're going to be affirmed by so many outside sources about like how threatened they are due to you being in your personal greatness, which is just so funny to me. So <laughs> let's get your Oracle cards for this week here. New moon in eclipse, honey. Scorpio, new moon in eclipse here. Expect a powerful change. New moons represent new beginnings. All right. So y'all are at the um, y'all at the edge of glory here. Truly, Scorpio, y'all are really about to be doing some great things here. All right. So this is the time for you to be taking action in regards to that. All right. This is now is the time. All right, now is the time to put pressure on everybody's neck, darling. Now is the time for you to continue creating and just like putting pressure on everybody else that's being a little bit too comfortable. All right, you're fresh and new on the scene, darling. All right, and everyone's going to be remembering who the heck you are. All right, let's get one more here. You have the snow leopard coming in here. Take some time out of your usual and spend it in life in solitude. So this is more so of a card where it's just like you just don't want to engage. Again, I feel like the best thing, a course of action for you right now, Scorpio, is just by observing other people and their reactions and more so just using it to self-reflect and for you. Again, like I just, there's this consistent message here where you just don't want to engage with these outside energies here. Um, really develop a good relationship with yourself at this time. All right. So, um... Yeah, Scorpio, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you this week, darling. I hope you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe here, Scorpio. All right. If you want to book a pr uh, private reading with me, Scorpio, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. As well as be sure to follow my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, Scorpio, which is linked down below as well, simplyvelka, same as here. And darling, Scorpio, I'll be seeing you sometime in the near future. All right. I love you so much, darling. Bye, Scorpio.